What up, S. Fam? So I'm just recording two videos today. I don't know which one y'all gonna see first, but if y'all see this orange sweater in another video, that means I recorded it in the same day. You already know the deal. So in this video, I'm gonna give y'all how many I got? Six holiday gems to go by. Fa la 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 da da. Okay. Anyway, so six holiday gems. I had to write it down so I don't forget. These are things you could go by for the rest of your life. But since it's the holidays, I'm going to give you all some holiday gems. Number one. When uncertain of what gift to get, you know what you're going to do? Get a gift card. <laughs> get a gift card. And if you don't even know what store they shop at. What you do is at Dollar General and your local CVS, they have those um, little gift cards, um, little, what do you call it? Like these little debit cards that you can load up however much money you want. And the person can take that and spend it at the store. They can take the money off, I believe. I'm not too sure about taking the money off, but they can take that card and go to whatever store they like. They know the amount. That's it. Now, if you know their favorite store, get a Sephora gift card. Get a um, you could get me a Dollar General gift card because <laughs> you know how I'm coming through with the DG. All about the DG. The DG is all about me. So they um, you can get a Dollar General gift card. You can get a Target gift card. You can get a Nike gift card. You can get a um, Best Buy gift card. You can get a Walmart gift card. An Amazon gift card. You can get the physical one if you want to put it inside of a holiday card or you can give them the electronic one meaning that you would purchase it online and then they would have i don't think dollar general have electric gift cards i don't know but every other store i mentioned do so you purchase it online and then they'll give you like a code or a link and you send it to the person and all they have to do is add it to their cart boom bam it will pay for their stuff or deduct the price from whatever they're buying it depends on how much they're buying and depends on how much you put in but either way it'll help them out and they need to be grateful Okay, next holiday gem that I have for y'all is don't buy a grown up no clothes unless you are certain of their style and their size. Now, you can if you're doing it for people that are not really sensitive, but for people who go through a lot of depression and and not even just depression, people might have lost a lot of weight, people might have gained a lot of weight for health reasons or any other reasons. Some people you know, if you know them just a little bit and not too much about them and enough to just know that, that might hit a tender spot. So I'm not saying to do it, obviously, if you don't know a little bit of what's going on with them. But if you do, that T-shirt that don't fit could send them spiraling like, damn, I can't believe I gained the weight. Listen, I'm going through it because I gained a lot of weight from since the quarantine till now. So I'm trying to get it off of me now. But um. It could trigger them. So if you know that they're going through losing a lot of weight, gaining a lot of weight, you don't want to get them something that don't... Something that don't match their style is okay. As long as you got like a... Get a gift receipt as well. Because just if, if you feel like you don't know their style, get a gift receipt. That way they can always exchange it. But the sizing... Because since somebody's spiraling, if they're depressed about their weight gain or weight loss. It's just advice. Okay? You want to say hi? Come. <laughs> She's so cute. Noise with you. Number three. At the family dinner this year, for the family you're not closest to, only ask surface level questions or general conversation. If you know you're not close to that aunt, that niece, that uncle, don't ask them. Yeah, well, why such and such left you, girl? Why you chewing that um chicken bone? They're not close to you. So why would you ask them that? Don't ask them that. Don't. Or, oh, girl, you gained the weight. Oh, girl, you lost the weight. You don't know what people going through behind the scene. If you are not close to that person, don't talk to them like you are close to them. Y'all family, but y'all ain't friends. It is what it is. Don't dig too deep because that ain't your business. That is my advice. A lot of y'all need to use that advice. I ain't going to hold you. See my blame from Sheen? <laughs> Who said you can't blame? For less than $2. Holla at me. Go check out my Sheen haul. It's in the list. 
It's in the, it's in the, um, it's in the, um, it's already up. If you ain't check it out, what you waiting for? My fourth holiday tip this season is give a gift to a stranger. Help a stranger out. The level of gratefulness with most strangers from my experience is so much more grateful than people you already know. Yes, people that you already know can be grateful and happy, but a person that feels like you owe them nothing and you give them something, if you see somebody on the street, if you can, buy them a meal. If somebody's ahead of you and you see it's like they only got something five or ten dollars, ma'am, I just want to do a kind act today. If you see it's something that costs like five or ten dollars or whatever you could afford, don't let them mad nothing on if you can't afford it. Because they be like, oh, snap, you buying my stuff and go add a hundred dollars. No, I'm not saying that. Don't let people run you up. But if you see somebody and they might just have like a, for example, a gel, a comb, a brush, a lip gloss, and they in Dollar General. You know, I got to always use Dollar General as an example. They in Dollar General. Be like, ma'am, can I buy that for you today? Oh, why are you doing that? I just want to do a con act because I need more kindness in the world. That's it. That is it. Now, when you're using your cards and you're using a card and stuff like that, be careful because there are people that, even though you're trying to do something kind, they're crooked. So they might take the opportunity to be crooked or pay cash if you feel safer. You know what I mean? But always cover yourself. But you're trying to do something kind. And I feel like in this world, we have to be the kindness that we want to see. So that's what I've been doing. I've just been trying to do a contact here and there anytime I can because who am I not to? We have to help each other. The fifth tip would be to let go of hurt and focus on yourself in 2024. I am learning how to do that because baby, honey, boo, boo, child, I need to do that badly. You know, I have grown in certain areas and I have a long way to go. Let that hurt go and focus on yourself. I promise you, if you take that energy and put it into yourself, 2024, sky is the limit. And my last final gym, holiday gym for you guys is if you live alone, for instance, like me, it's just me and my daughter here. I still make it festive for the holidays, the ones that I do celebrate and still try to make it a beautiful environment for her. I might not have a lot of money to go out and celebrate all the time, but I go and I still get that tree because... I know it might sound like basic stuff I'm telling y'all, but people do get that depressed to where they don't do stuff that they probably can because they're so down and out that they don't have family or they might have lost family. But I promise you, if you just try, go get that tree, go get these little decorations. By now, y'all, by the time you watch this, you'll see my decorating video of what I did in my apartment to make it more holiday feel. You don't even have to spend that much. Go do these things so that you can really just be in that spirit with your child or if you're by yourself and period, like enjoy yourself. Let me give advice for people that don't celebrate the holidays. I do not judge whichever holiday you don't celebrate. That is all up to you. How about redecorating in general just to feel good? Change that curtain. Get a new throw blanket. Get new um, couch cover pillows. Just feel good. Be good and feel good. Look good. You do good. All of that twined into one. And what I should have said at the beginning, on top of every list and every video that I even post on here, keep God first. Don't just go to him when you're in agony and pain. Keep him ahead of everything. Keep him ahead of every door you walk through. Keep him with you in everything you do that is good and that is great. Ask for his help to do every single thing. Ask for his help and his wisdom on top of every decision you make and you'll have a beautiful 2024 but anyway i gotta go it's getting a little loud in here um that was my holiday gems for 2024 if you like this video like comment and subscribe and happy holidays make sure y'all check out all my videos bye stuff in